have uh, two people present here. I would just like to mention Amina Khalid from Somalia attending a conference here in the UK about sexual violence, as well as we have one more person, Alvin Magwin. Am I pronounce your name correct? Yeah. Uh, from Africa, we welcome you both. Uh, thank you for the solidarity. Um, <laughs> Nangal Lorum, single Makala, educate Bono the Pedicaji Gondrogram, Azakumuzal and get a Tamil Makala, Azuman, Tamil, the Makala and Angal Muzal, educate Bonavanum, Azakumuzal, the Karnum and Dal, nineteen eighty three Praga, Anegaman and the Napolina Valum, eighty percent, ninety percent Makal, Agadiyalata Mandanangal, and the Agadi and the State of the Rutaku Praga, Makal, Yezos and the Padala, Pora, and the Turbakal, the Pora, and Artic Poet Vande. அவர்களுக்கு தமிழ் ஈழத்தில் அதிலும் யாழ்ப்பாணத்தில் கார்பெட் ரோடு இருக்குது மெக்டோனால் இருக்குது கெண்டக்கி இருக்குது யாழ்ப்பாணத்தில் அங்கே ப்ராப்ளம் இல்லை அப்ப இப்படியாக மக்கள் இங்க வந்து எங்களுக்கு அதாவது அந்த फादर எங்கட இவர் சாரி फादर இல்ல சவுதி இந்தியா இருந்து வந்து எங்கட ராயலா காலேஜ் லெக்சரர் சொன்ன மாதிரி எங்கட மக்களும் தான் நாங்கள் எடுக்கேட் பண்ணனும் எங்கட மக்களில் இங்க வெளிநாடுகள் வாழும் ஒரு 100 க்கு Tamil Latil Valam Makal in the Buddha Kagavum, Abedasia, Urme Kagavum, Kural Kodapora Ile. Is then Angalakum, Bea the Nakum, Manabar the Kumuria. Story. Thank you. Professor Sordan Raja Guru Kali and the Ningalumadi and the Mulko question and answer for Nikolson Ningal Vandu and the ISDA proposal when there were living document and Dum and Indigum and then Purthaman or Vishamandum. TNPF, Madawa Civil Society, wherever Sandra Bangla, other than the Muketu Atema and Ipo the Kala Hatta the Governor of Portaman, Portaman, the Nusulim, Chiladanga Sula Patrick. But in an approach as Nangalumel, possible Priyanga Kondovarti, Pesila Nadigal Lavandi, UN Transitional Authority, and Alade, UN Peace Commission, and Vithyasaman approaches Mulam Chilisila interim administrations on this Ilan Adil African countries. Nangal Palama hid in the Halatli in the ILCS proposal of the Yilam Pitizi. But Ipa Indakirik and Elamelamandi in the Madriana approaches with UNICULA or international approach, I live in national language, struggle Kulale, Adakira Vipiga, but in an approaches an angle in the in the Vishitra Sila. Just to correct you a little while ago, you were talking about African, I'm, I'm West Indian American, so uh, you all don't get that all messed up. No. <laughs> Uh, the African side, it don't matter. My grandmother's side is Ghanaian, so I, I can work with that. But it's West Indian American, okay? Uh, the question I want to deal with right now this afternoon, I've been sitting here in a room and listening to everybody speaking, um, but something was troubling me all along. I noticed the sign and the slogan on the top says International Association of Tamil Journalists. Now, that's a good slogan. It's good. Um, but in terms of reflectiveness in the room, I was not feeling that. Okay, the panel, some from Singapore and otherwise. But I've noticed something in a conversation from the lady who was interpreting there are several points that is in the Tamil community that you all have several strengths. You all are very inversed in science, in the Tamil community, um, in medicine and other fields. You also have strength in your religious aspects in terms of family values and social structure, and also in terms of your agricultural stuff. My question that is posed to the panel this evening is that from an international basis with uh, science at the epitaph of, of world situation right now with you having people in medicine and the pharmaceutical industry in the United States, in Canada and other places. How is it that you all are not mobilizing these people, you know, mobilizing these people to engage in the struggle from a uh, uh, international um, educational and academic status? Are, are, we, are we getting that? Because so often we've been spending a lot of time fighting a war that has been killing, but there's a different way to fight a war. And the war now is dealing with it from a knowledge-based point of view. And knowledge is power when it's rightfully applied. So from that aspect, my question is being posed, how much infrastructure have you all put in place to deal with your international Tamil community that are strong in those fields? Secondly, um, in terms of the uh, immobilization dialogue between yourself and the Sinhalese, or, or yes? I noticed that you do not want to have a dialogue, but it's crucial that there's a dialogue. But how the dialogue is being executed is very, very important. But it's important for us to realize that as a community, in order for us to survive and for us to save our women, the women also need to have a voice. You are the bedrock of the Tamil community. And this was something that was raised at the conference, yes? 
you are the bedrock of the Tamil community. And not only the Tamil community, the DRC and the Sudan, if the women have no voice, then you don't have a community and you don't have a nation. So what have you got engaged on those three points? Point number one, your international audience with the Tamils that are educated worldwide and that are in big uh, structures. Point number two, uh, the religious aspect in dealing with, uh, you know, you know, binding the mobilization between the two factions. And then thirdly, uh, the immobilization, uh, the development and empowering of the women that they make a voice that is relevant in this time for the Tamil community. Thank you very much. Are we uh, addressing this question internationally? Yes, we are. You know, I think uh, the TGTE, for example, has a, 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 a center for genocide. And it's not limited to the study of genocide in Sri Lanka. When it held its uh, last conference, it dealt with genocides all over the world. And it hopes to continue to study genocides in all different countries of the world in order to provide a deterrence through punishment of uh, such uh, monumental crimes. So in that sense then, we do take a very international viewpoint on matters and our activities are not confined to Sri Lanka alone. We are conscious of the fact that other peoples around the world have similar problems and we would want whatever expertise we gather in this area to benefit them as well. Uh, to address the other point as to what could be done about the ISGA, whether it should be fine-tuned to uh, deal with uh, present and future situations, that of course is a task that uh, needs to be performed. The ISGA is about 11 years old now, and obviously it has to be changed in the light of criticisms that have uh, been made principally by people like Mr. Kadir Gamer and uh, also in the light of uh, <coughs> new experience. So, for example, we would probably have to take out these words plenary powers, which have uh, caused uh, so much of anxiety amongst uh, the Sigalis who have criticized this. We also have to address the question of uh, rights over maritime ter territories so as not to cause too much of uh, concern amongst the Sinhalese politicians. The other problems I think we have uh, anticipated quite uh, uh, a lot in this document. It was at that stage uh, a sort of a forward-thinking document in the sense, as I pointed out, it deals with powers over land, over policing, over resettlement of refugees, over compensation for damages. But having regard to the massive amount of rapes and uh, killings that took place in Sri Lanka, certainly we have to uh, address uh, new factors in this document. But, uh, uh, you know, I, one must conf confess in the light of the question that was asked that uh, we are now putting forward this document uh, in, if, if at all there is somebody to put forward this document, uh, at, a, at a time when the Tamil community lacks uh, the power it had uh, in 2003. In 2003, of course, the Tigers did have uh, command over a huge amount of territory, something that they do not have, uh, uh, no one has now. So we are in a, in a situation of total helplessness there. But nevertheless, one must remember that uh, movements start with individuals. And if it is possible at all for uh, organizations and individuals in different countries of the world to put uh, their efforts together to promote uh, a solution like the ISGA, it would be a grand thing. And the journalists here could help by writing about it, by making people become aware of the fact that there was an ISGA that it sought to address in legal terms the problems of the Tamis. Thank you. Nanga Ipa Elam in and Valinatoda Singala Toda is and Hundur Kram and Kalachinanga. Unmaya Have Ipa Tamil Latilovla Makalak Nangal in a Sayalam in a diaspora in a Sayavan Adutadaha 
இந்த எக்கனாமிக் எக்கனாமிக்ஸ்ன்றது ஒரு மேஜர் ஃபேக்டராக இருக்குது இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் பாலிட்டிக்ஸ் என்று வரைக்க அதில் தமிழ் டயஸ்பரோட பார்ட் என்ன அதுக்கு நாங்கள் என்ன செய்யலாம் பொருளாதாரம் பொறுத்தவரையில் வந்த கேள்வி ஸ்ரீலங்கா பீங் பிராண்டட் ஆர் ஆக்கிபாயிங் தி லோவர் மிடில் இன்கம் கண்ட்ரி ஹேஸ் ஆக்சுவலி சேஞ்ச் அ லாட் ஆஃப் டைனமிக்ஸ் இன் டேர்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் எயிட் ஃப்ளோ and also the per capita income of sri lanka according to the world bank report of uh, march 2014 is between 3500 and 4000 dollars per year and this actually is a comfortable income level as far as sri lanka is concerned but the report very clearly outlines pockets of poverty in sri lanka outlining the eastern and northern parts where situation is abject poverty also living below the poverty line is very common so there needs to be a an issue that or at least a way to address this more concretely there are many ways and many approaches that people have tried and have failed miserably and now with complete aid drying out of the country another report very interesting report which talks about matching skills and occupations in sri lanka talks about the lack of scope because of the lack of skills in the north and east of sri lanka to match any kind of industry or new investment that has been at, that has not been attracted in the last 25 years or 30 years there's no industry to match that so economically the region is actually starved of any kind of development Now the debate is whether you invest in development if you invest in development will you be aiding the the government that's a debate that's an ongoing debate on the other hand when you do nothing again people are suffering to a larger extent the reduction in agriculture dependence on agriculture from 35% of agriculture dependence sri lanka has moved to a dependence of 11% on agriculture and we don't have enough skills to match that also and with the and the largest level of contribution of gdp comes from people who have migrated who do the 3d jobs that is the dirty dangerous and difficult jobs who send back the money so that seems to be the order of the day specifically because of the north and east issues that have been going on but it's a larger debate but in terms of economics there is a lot that can be done if there is targeted investment and skill building that has to go hand in hand but i cannot be prescriptive but this is the situation over there where even if you have we are going in for very simple shoddy economical changes where we are talking about tailoring programs uh, small term development programs painters skill building that is not enough looking much beyond it there is an entire document report available uh, for uh, study and for pursuit next is what can we do what can we do to it i think in the larger scale of things when some issues political issues are resolved there should probably be a, a global tamil master plan marshal plan for the entire north and east something like that to bail people out because at the moment you see more people moving out more people moving out nobody wants to stay there lot of people not nobody lot of people want to want to move out of the country and migration seems to be quite rampant in the juthathukku pinnar adigalavila perumalavila paadikapattirukirathu indha pengal dhaan ana andha pengal sambandhapatta aayvukutpatta vidiyangal veliyil varuvathu miga kuraivu ippoludhu kuda adutha varam 23 aam thiyadi june 23 aam thiyadi sarvadesa vidavagal dinam எங்களுடைய நாட்டில் தொண்ணூறாயிரம் பெண்கள் விதவைகளாக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறார்கள் என்ற புள்ளி விவரம் இருக்கின்றது அதையும் விட கூடுதலான பெண்கள் விதவைகளாக இருக்கின்றார்கள் அது மட்டுமல்ல அதில் நாற்பதினாயிரம் அப்படி மிகவும் இளம் வயதில் இருக்கின்றார்கள் அவர்கள் தொடர்ந்தும் பல பிரச்சனைகளுக்கு உள்ளாகி கொண்டிருக்கிறார்கள் ஆனால் இன்று வரை நான் காத்து காத்து கொண்டிருக்கிறேன் ஒரு செய்திகளோ அல்லது ஒரு செய்தியாளர்களினுடைய கட்டுரைகளோ ஆய்வு கட்டுரைகளோ இதுவரை வரவில்லை அந்த 
நாள் நெருங்கி கொண்டிருக்கின்றது இரு ஜூன் இருபத்தி மூன்றாம் தேதி அதை நான் எல்லோருக்கும் ஞாபகப்படுத்துவதற்கும் ஏதாவது இந்த சம்பந்தமான ஆய்வுகளை எப்படி செய்யலாம் என்பதை பெற்று இங்கு இதில் அமர்ந்திருக்கின்றவர்கள் தொடர்ந்து வர்ற காலத்தில் இந்த இப்படிப்பட்ட செய்திகள் அந்தந்த கா நேரத்துக்கு ஏற்ப ஏற்ற செய்திகளை எப்படி எங்களுடைய மக்களுக்கு அதாவது நாங்களும் கூட மறந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் நாங்கள் ரெண்டாயிரத்தி ஒன்பது ரெண்டாயிரத்தி பத்தில் இருந்ததை விட இன்று மறந்து விட்டோம் மறந்து கொண்டே போகின்றோம் வேறு பல விடயங்களில் நாங்கள் கவனம் செலுத்துகின்றோம் அந்த அதில் பல பெண்கள் போராளிகளாக சமமாக நின்று போராடியவர்கள் இன்று அவர்கள் பல துன்பங்களுக்கு உள்ளாக இருக்கிறார்கள் சற்று கவனம் செலுத்தி இந்த இருபத்தி மூன்றாம் தேதிக்கு முதலாவது நீங்கள் ஏதாவது நாங்கள் செய்வதற்கு என்ன வகையில் செய்யலாம் என்ற ஒரு ஆலோசனையை நீங்கள் முன்வைப்பீர்கள் என்று நான் எதிர்பார்க்கின்றேன் நன்றி குட் ஈவினிங் எவ்ரி Uh, my name is Amina and I'm here representing a charity organization called Initiative of Change. When I look around this room, I see that uh, there are very few women present. This concerns me a lot considering that uh, within your Tamil community, I know that one of the greatest strengths that you have is women's uh, literacy and advocacy. And where are they now at the platform asking key and critical issues affecting not just your community but your whole entire society? Thank you. With regard to women, a number of serious issues have not been addressed. Dealing with trauma, dealing with relationships, reconstructing social networks that have been destroyed, dealing with livelihoods of women, a number of other issues of how women cope with difficulties itself has not been addressed even five years after the war. There are villages where you go, you don't see a trace of man. You see only women. I'm not arguing about the good or bad of it, but the entire modeling of society has changed and has been redefined. So women empowerment actually comes first. So it's important that women address women issues and also men address women issues. and there are ways in which we can evolve it and there are many more experiments and we have a lot of proven methods that have been very successful which we can talk about it debate about it sometime later i guess uh, to all all panelists if you don't mind uh, because um you're all, like lecturing in universities so i just want to know um uh, following the un petri report um what what kind of interest has there been in academic circles to research what happened in 2009 in sri lanka and um because obviously whenever um international leaders talk about genocide or war crimes or any issues they always mention rwanda and bosnia they rarely mention sri lanka so um i think part of the the, the problem is that academic circles aren't actually researching it that much and it's not going into their agenda as much so obviously once the report came out bbc did a good uh, report on it in in on news night but then we ha- we haven't heard much about it so um how well is it kind of talked about in academic circles and are there young people um or from different countries um uh, interested in researching what happened thank you there is now clearly a great deal of interest in sri lanka not only in terms of 2009 but in terms of what has happened since so in singular nationalism for example it's one of the first periods that i can remember where international actors actually take seriously that there is a nationalist project run by the singalese and it's not only tamil nationalism that's the problem that there's also a certain amount of interest in the diaspora now believe it or not while a lot of people here complain that the tamils don't do enough and we should do more and so on there's a considerable amount of interest in how powerful the tamil diaspora is perceived as being so people want to figure out how does this small community um which are relatively invisible for many years suddenly become so influential now that may or may not be right but it's it's a perception so i think overall um i'm certainly the advocacy actors here certainly the media will increasingly see scholars international scholars coming to talk to them about the struggle about what they do and so on i would strongly encourage you to respond and speak there has been a tendency where people when they're confronted with um, someone asking questions say i better not tell them something maybe they work for intelligence but i think they should take an approach saying this is also a point of lobbying it's also a point of engagement and ordinary tamils are the best ambassadors for the cause when it comes to the role of the diaspora then guru will say a few more things i think 
it, a, a great deal of the activity of the diaspora now is not visible. Right? There, used, there was a kind of period after 2009 where a lot of people took a lot of photographs and sent them around. This was apparently advocacy. Now the organizations are learning to keep quiet, to cultivate relationships, to pass on information and to work, to actually work. And they do this without publicizing it. And this is why things have started to improve dramatically in the last two or three years. So in the 2003 proposal and the ISDA proposal on the update Panavanama, Lada Ade Maria Kondube Kurukalama, Ade Ria Kondube Kurukalama, and in Anjibere Mirkra Vadiaja, you can update it and then submit it to the TNA or any also to the entire because you don't only submit to TNA, you had to submit to the everybody outside that uh, all the embassies and all that. The second question, other than matter the Anglet Gagran. The issue is when I'm at the conference, I'm going to go to the conference and then I'm going to go to the conference and then I'm going to go to the and the sexual repertoire of him at the other one, the Mukesh and Sodi and no other UN lay in the other and the South South Sudan lay in the other. Our ink at the curl wheel on the other cut a city in the sonar and the sonar. Ning got a lobbying con other Ungolodia Visium and then Borilla Povilla. Every Tamil can lobby. That is the first thing. If they can lobby in any forms, just lobby. Because if you cannot lobby, you can't keep your this thing out. So I expect all the Tamils to lobby for us, and everybody should lobby. And I, I am disappointed that uh, the, uh, the Tamils came to that conference, which I've got all the so many people come from so many other countries came here. We lost the opportunity because only very few of us went there to lobby them. And and I can see that whenever I ask the questions, they are very very happy that to that you and even the UNICEF, they told me that they have made a mistake of leaving the country from there. And then I lo I, I asked the other guys also. They say that lobbying is not enough. So what are the international association of Tamil journalists? Are they going to bring this? They are very ashamed of themselves. In fact, you and Kuda and the Ganan and the Kurdi Herkumbo, the Ninga in the Southern England, put it upon one ten out of the Nusuna, Anga on the LTD Sole Longa Valila Pongot. Government Jonathan, mm -hmm. Adika Porani, Valila Pondani, Valila Poet, and then on UN Seven Day Curtain, and they cut that that was a mistake. That is why the UN have now corrected the mistake and so on. So, sorry, upper Andam Rail of the Paga Mother Nangal Land Lobby Sayavanum, other than Toron the Sayan went to cut it. I have no way of knowing whether, well, certainly not enough Tamils are involved, there never will be enough Tamils involved. But I think we are selling ourselves short if we assume that no one else, just because, just because I'm not doing anything doesn't mean nobody else is. Um, and this, uh, there is one thing I want to say. There is a tendency to look at the North and East as a former war zone. That means there's nothing else going on there. So yes, devastation, destruction, large scale displacement, um, sexual violence against women. The reason we can't fix this, the reason the diaspora can't rush back to fix it, is because it is militarized and the occupation is going on. If we can't end the occupation, if we can't produce a certain level of safety, then we're not going to change any of those things. So the organizations that are working on producing international pressure on Sri Lanka to end militarization, to demilitarize the North and East, to allow safe access for humanitarian workers, to allow safe access. If even the Indian government can't build 50,000 houses, I fail to see how private actors from the diaspora are going to have anything. There's a, there's a kind of a logic to this which should also be watched. Soon after the war in 2009, 10, and 11, the Sri Lankan government spent a considerable effort to seduce Tamil diaspora money through its institutions. Right? This accusation, why don't you come back, instead of talking there, why don't you come back and help here, is precisely how post-war counterinsurgency was started. Now it failed in part because a lot of diaspora money still goes through informal channels and through private networks, but not in a way that the Sri Lankan state can command. So it's not a simple problem. It's much more complex. There's simply a question of we're sitting here having nice food and doing nothing. I'll, I'll be very brief. On the ISGA, um, 
I think your proposal is interesting. Um, Professor Sodaraja is right that it needs to be updated. I think, I don't want to be quoted on this, but I think the best way that we are going to get to an interim administration is through the international criminal process, which is, if there is an inquiry, if the international community is serious about conducting inquiry of providing witness protection, it needs to establish a protection mechanism in the Northeast so that people can come forward and give witness to it. And along with that, we need to make the case that the Northeast has to be under some other governance. And that has to be mediated by the UN. And that's where the argument for a transitional uh, administration or an authority comes in. I think that's the best way that we are going to make the argument in the present context, given the uh, this change in status quo uh, in 2004 as compared to 2014 that we are talking about in terms of the LTT, uh, parity of status, military power, so on and so forth. Uh, women, I agree it's a very serious question that gets very little attention. A uh, lot of us are to blame for it. I, I would concede that um, back home, even the Tamil Civil Society Forum struggles with this question. Uh, I think there needs to be better ways of exploring it, and, and that, that's why I want to um, sort of, you know, uh, focus on that we need to we need to g get to this issue quite soon about uh, the participation of women uh, in in Tamil political activity, but also raising uh, issues relating to women. About the diaspora, I agree entirely with um, uh, Dr. Sudhar and Naraja. There is, I mean, we have to be very careful about the government of Sri Lanka trying to play to pose uh, the people on the ground and the diaspora as being dichotomous and as if. Right? that supports a move towards a political solution. That's where I'm coming from, and I think we need to invest enough time and money to explore those options. I gave indications as to what, uh, I have a shopping list of things that can be done, but I don't want to run through that uh, today. So yeah, so I'll, I'll stop with that. Thank you. My name is Jogalingam. I am the MP of the European Parliament election. I am going to talk about the European Parliament election. முதலாவதாக பேனலுக்கு இல்லாமல் இங்கு பலர் வந்து ஜேர்னலிஸ்ட் இருக்கின்றார்கள் என்று நினைக்கின்றேன் என்றால் இன்டர்நேஷனல் அசோசியேஷன் ஆஃப் தமிழ் ஜேர்னலிஸ்ட் என்ற கட்டுப்பாட்டுகள் தான் இது நடக்கின்றது என்னை பொறுத்த வரைகள் இதில் இருக்கும் ஜேர்னலிஸ்ட் எவ்வளவு வேலை செய்கிறார்கள் இது ஏதாவது ஒரு ப்ரோக்ராம் நடக்கும் போதோ ஏதாவது ஒரு எங்கேயாவது ஒரு இடத்துல ஒரு கூட்டம் நடக்கும் போது இத்தனை ஜேர்னலிஸ்ட் போய் அதை மீடியாவுக்கு கொண்டு போகிறார்கள் என்பதுதான் அதாவது இப்போ மணிவனன் சொன்ன போல எவ்வளோத்துக்கு நாங்கள் லொபி பண்ணுகிறோம் எவ்வளோத்துக்கு அதை எடுத்து கொண்டு போகிறோம் அதுதான் முக்கியமானது இப்போது தற்போது இருக்க நிலைமையில் அதை அதற்கு அடுத்ததாக தற்போது இருக்க நிலைமையில் ரெசல்யூஷன் இஸ் பாஸ்ட் வெரி மச் தேர்ட் ரெசல்யூஷன் அதை ஆக்டிவேட் பண்ணப்பட்டு தற்போது நடந்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றது யூஎன்எல் முக்கியமான கட்டமாக நடக்கின்றது தற்போது அது வந்து தமிழருக்கு ஒரு சாதகமான ஒரு நிலைமையில் உள்ள நாங்கள் இப்போது நமக்கு இன்னொரு பத்து மாதத்தில் அதுக்கான ரிப்போர்ட்டும் வரப்போகின்றது அவை என்னை பொறுத்த வரையில் எல்லா மீடியாக்களும் ரிப்போர்ட்டர்ஸ் என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய எல்லா தமிழ் மீடியாக்கள் இன்டர்நேஷனல் மீடியாக்கள் எமது தமிழர்களுக்காக பயங்கரமாக வேலை செய்தோமானால் நிச்சயமாக எம் எமக்கான ஒரு விடிவு வரம் என்ற நிலைமை கைகூடி வர வந்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றது ஆகவே நாங்கள் எமது தேசிய தலைவர் சொன்னபோல் அதை ஒரு க சொல்லி வைத்து விட்டு எல்லோரும் தெரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் எவ்வளோத்துக்களாக நாங்கள் ஸ்ட்ராங்காக எமது எல்லோரும் ஒன்றாக நிற்கிறோமோ அப்போது தான் இந்த இன்டர்நேஷனல் மீ இன்டர்நேஷனல் வில் லிசன் டு வாஸ் வி ஹேவ் டு பி ஸ்ட்ராங் டுகெதர் தேங்க் யூ தேங்க் யூ வெரி மச் ஃபார் எவ்ரி ஒன் வி சீன் சம் வண்டர்ஃபுல் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அண்ட் சம் பவர்ஃபுல் ஆன்சர்ஸ் அண்ட் தேங்க் யூ சோ ம